Lastly, our thir third. <laughs> Tutor. Let's have a few exercises first before we begin with today's lesson. You just have to fill in the blanks using there, there, or there. Are you ready? Do you think you were able to answer all of them correctly? Or did you just get more confused? That's okay because today, we will be learning the differences of these three commonly confused words in the English language. And don't fret if you're too confused of the usage of these three words because not only are the non-native English speakers get confused, but the native speakers as well, believe it or not. I think the reason why many people get confused with these words is because they are homophones, meaning they are pronounced exactly the same as you can see here, but they have entirely different meanings and they also aren't spelled the same. So now let's see how we can use these three words correctly. For our first word, there. T-H-E-R-E. -E. There is an adverb that means in or at that place. So in this sense, there is basically the opposite of here. For example, oh, the books are there. The books are there. So meaning, the books are not here. The books are not here. Because the books are there. There is also used to say that something exists. For example, there are hotels nearby. There are hotels nearby. Now let's have our second word, there. T-H-E-I-R. There is the possessive form of the pronoun they. To put it simply, there indicates possession. So it has to do with what belongs to, relates to, or is made by certain people, animals, or things. Let me give you an example. They left their shoes outside. They left their shoes outside. Second example. It's their dog. It's their dog. Meaning the dog is not mine. Or it's not ours because it's their dog. Lastly, our third word, there. T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. There is a contraction of they are. This can be used for living or non-living things. For example, they're the most thoughtful people I've ever met. They are the most thoughtful people I've ever met. Example number two. They're both awesome movies. They are both awesome movies. If you still find the explanations and the examples confusing, I'll teach you a trick from the spelling of each. There has the word here in it. 
There is the choice when talking about places. There, here. There, here. There has the word air in it, which can act as a reminder that there indicates possession. There, air. There, air. There has an apostrophe, which means it's the product of two words, they are. There, they are. There, they are. There you have it, guys. I know they are not that easy to understand immediately, but I hope that after watching this video, you can now identify their differences. So before we end, let's answer the exercises earlier. Let's see if you got all the answers correctly. Number one, you think they're in there? Number two, is that their dog? Number three, are you still there? Number four, there is still hope that their car will be found. Number five, they're proud of their children. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit like and please subscribe to this channel for more learning experiences. See you!